Good morning, friends. My name is Tina. And my name is Carol. And my name is Abby. And we are so glad that you're joining us for Rich Kids Online to learn about some of our favorite Bible stories. We have our friend Ollie with us today. And he yeah. wants to know something. He wants to know if you see something different about him. Hmm. That's right, Ollie is wearing a face mask. Yes. Raise your hand if you or your parents sometimes wear a face mask when you go out. Us too. We wear them to protect others from getting sick. Mm -hmm. I've seen some really cute masks and some pretty silly ones too. Yeah, and they're very funny. Mm -hmm. I've seen lots of different masks lately, which reminds me that we are all very different and God made us that way on purpose. Let's get started with our lesson. Everyone, stand up. We're going to do some movements today. So listen very carefully and we will tell you how many times to move. To start, we are going to spin around like this one time. Let's go. Ooh, great job spinning. That made me a little dizzy. I'm glad we only did that one time. Our next movement is a little easier. We're going to pat our heads two times. Count with us. One, two. Way to go. Our next number is three, and we are going to flap our arms like this three times. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. All right, friends, you've counted to three. What number do you think comes next? That's right, let's clap our hands like this four times. Okay. Ready? One, two, three, four. Thanks for counting with us. That was so much fun. Today, we'll hear a Bible story about how God made us and he knows us so well that he can count every hair on our heads. Watch with us. Oh, oh. Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Welcome to the clubhouse. I'm having such a great time hanging up these awesome pictures of my friends. It makes me so happy to look at them. Do you like looking at pictures? I do too. Lucy looks so happy in this picture. All I had to do was see cheese and she would start smiling and laughing. What a great day. And here's one of Peyton. Say cheese, Peyton. And Julia. And Mariah. When I told Mariah to say cheese, guess what I noticed? She lost the tooth. She was super excited that day. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Hanging up photos, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I have all these amazing photos of my friends that remind me how important they are to me. I love them all so much. Loving your friends is great, it's true. God loves all of them too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Want to see today's special? Ta-da! They're my wild watermelons. They kind of look like they have hair, don't they? <laughs> that reminds me, you came for a story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story! Today's 
true story from the Bible. Whoa! What is that? It's very hairy. <gasps> Can you tell what it is? I think it's an animal? Let's zoom out. It's a bunny! Whoa! So much hair. Okay, that was fun. Let's do it again! <laughs> hmm. What kind of animal could this be? Maybe a grizzly bear? Or a horse? Let's see. It's a llama! That's awesome! Now, check out this creature. Hmm. This one might be the hairiest of them all. What do you think, wild buffalo? Let's see. It's a kid! Wow! Look at all that hair! Did you know the Bible teaches that God knows how many hairs are on your head? It's true! Every single one. Can you even imagine counting this person's hair? And yet God knows exactly how many hairs are on his head. He even knows if one hair falls out <laughs> onto his shirt. He knows. And do you know what that means for you? It means you are important to God. It's true. You are so important to God, no matter where you go. You're important to God when you're at the dentist. You're important to God when you're in timeout. You're important to God even when you're asleep. You're important to God when you're in the front of the line or anywhere in the line. You're important to God when you're sad or happy or mad or even silly. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? We are important to God. He made each and every one of us. Did you like that story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey Ollie, tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. We are important to God. He made and he loves you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that's so awesome. God made each of us and we're important to him. My friends are important to me and they're important to God. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. Hey, I have an idea. How about I take a picture of you with your biggest smile? Are you ready? Say cheese. Wow, you guys did great. Super job, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. such a great lesson from the Bible. It sure was, and I am so thankful that God made us special in His image. Me too. I'm going to say our new memory verse. Everyone, watch me. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. All right, are you all ready to do it all together? Okay, stand up. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Our memory verse tells us that God made us. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. So, who made you? God, God made, made me. me. Let's think about it. my arms and I'm scratching my nose, scratching 
Who made you? God, God made, made me. me. You, you better, better believe, believe it. it. See you next week. Bye.